Good evening, and welcome back to Train of Thoughts. My name is Trey, and this is where I share my thoughts on the Winnipeg Jets. Um, a little while ago, Jets and Flames wrapped up preseason game number five in Calgary. Um, Flames won 2 nothing, and since this is a preseason, um, there are moral victories, and to tonight you, you could say it was a moral victory for the Jets with they were going against the, the Flames, um, uh, like, regular lineup, which is a stacked powerhouse lineup since they were um, tied for the league lead in goals scored last season. Very good on the power play. Um, a lot of those played into tonight's. And then the, the Jets were uh, countering it with a pretty young um, inexperienced lineup. They they had some some veterans on there that that were trying to or that are fighting to make the team, uh, but but for the most part, a lot of guys that are fighting for spots. So it was a very interesting storyline going into to the game, and the Jets held up pretty nicely. Um, some of the things that stood out to me weren't necessarily players. It was kind of hard to be like, man, who really stood out? I was listening to the to the radio for a little bit after the game to try and be like, man, who, uh, who, who do they think stood out? Um, but what it was stood out to me was just kind of like, like the overall play on the D side B besides the 43 minute, 43 second span where the, the two goals were scored one on a power play. Um, Nathan Bulio made a, a mistake to, um, it, like he tripped a guy Flames went on power play, scored on a really nice little looking deflection um, for the the Flames with Johnny Goudreau, aka Johnny Hockey, in, in the middle of that. Um, and then uh, they, they scored again 43 seconds later. Um, but besides that, they their the system that they wanted to play seemed seemed seem like it like it held up pretty well to to tonight. So that's a win. Um, not a whole lot to talk about on the offensive side. The Jets had twenty shots, but there, there, there was not a whole lot of um, you know spurts where where they were really attacking or um, having a prolonged um, time in uh, their offensive zone. Um, they looked good at the beginning of the game for a few minutes, and then uh, in, in the third period, they, they started turning it on a little bit. Um, but, but besides that, not a whole lot of offensive standouts. Um, some some players that, that stood out were the, the two goalies, Eric Comrie, who played the first two periods, stopped 18 of 20 shots, and then Mikhail Burden, who... Um, a lot of people have been talking about and hoping that he would get a chance to play a little bit uh, because of how hard he works and how much he, he loves to just compete and um, grind it out in practice. And uh, he also, uh, I, I haven't seen any interviews with him, but I've heard that he's got a great personality and is a um, pretty, pretty fun guy in the, the locker room. So... Um, he got to play the last 20 minutes, and he definitely brought a lot of energy. Uh, he stopped all 13 of the shots that he saw, and then he um, uh, was good at handling the the puck. Um, Nelson Noje, one of the defensemen after the game, said that that he 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 likes working with Burden because um, he he makes it a little bit easier for him with with his. Um, his being Burns, um, puck handling abilities. So that was good to, to see. Um, it, the Jets systematically played well with um, keeping the the puck kind kind of around the the boards and playing it that way instead of having a lot of it go to the the danger areas. So that was good. Um, as far as other standouts in the game. Um, there, there are some, some moments where David, um, it's either Gustafson or Gustafson looked pretty good. He had a breakaway at one point, um, you know, for, forced a turnover and, um, went to the other end and, 
made a nice play doing that. And then um, Nelson Noje had some moments. Um, Nathan Bulio, besides kicked me in the penalty that led to the first goal, he he looked solid. Um, he was right up there for the most minutes in the game. Anthony Bettetto, um, another solid effort from Vets. Um, Gabriel Bork, uh, who's a penalty killing specialist, looked pretty good on the the penalty kill. And that's another thing that the Jets had. Um, a lot of time killing penalties a night. Um, Tucker Poolman had a four-minute uh, double minor in the first period, and that was like, oh, man, this is a big test against a top-notch power play. How are they going to handle this? And um, the, the Flames had their chances, but the Jets weathered the storm there. So that was probably my, my highlight of the game was seeing that. Um, so that's some of the thoughts on the the game. There was a scare with Josh Morrissey leaving the the game and um, hearing that he wasn't playing and seeing some stuff online, uh, some tweets or what have you about Jets Nation freaking out. But after the game, Paul Maurice um, uh, probably got uh, Jets Nation's um, blood pressure a little bit lower by saying that they took him out. For precautionary reasons because he was starting to um, tighten up and um, didn't didn't want anything to happen where he, he missed more time especially with the season starting in a little over a week um, so that's my thoughts on the game uh, the Jets will be back in action on Thursday night and I'll, I'll plan to have uh, another video on that um, so uh, we'll be looking forward to that. I will also be doing another video tomorrow, non-hockey related. I know I've talked about this a little bit, talking about some um, personal things. Um, and I, I'm, I'm excited to talk about that. And so I, I want to hear your comments on the, the game, um, on, on the, the team, whatever. I, I would love to hear from you guys. Let, let's get that discussion rolling. Also, um, hit that like button, subscribe. Um, it looks like in a little over two weeks of doing this channel, I've gotten over 500 views, which is awesome. Um, this is my 11th video, so it, it's exciting to, to see um, the, the, the support and that, that uh, um, as a guy who is just starting out here and I don't really know what I'm doing and did, just figuring this out. Sorry, I'm moving my camera so much. Um, I don't know if that, 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 that's annoying on your guys' end, but I was trying to get get the right frame. So sorry about that. But you guys can play a game. How many times does Trey flip his, his uh, camera or move his camera? Um, but anyway, thank you guys for, for the support. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm excited to continue to put these videos out. So uh, thanks again. Go Jets go. And I will talk to you again soon.